everybody, this is Shelby from Chicago Music Exchange, and I lost a bet, so Andrew is going to be helping me with this demo today. I'm uh, very excited to have him with me. Happy to be here, Shelby Mustang. Rear, rear. Great. Today we have with us the uh, 1959 Fender Custom Shop Journeyman Relic, which is a, a newer finish for them. Um, and it's really great. It's somewhere in between a, a heavy relic and a closet classic, which the closet classic just has light checking across the body. Obviously, heavy relics have you know, some very intense relicking across the uh, top and neck of the guitars. Yeah. Thank you. Um, my favorite part about these finishes are actually the back of the neck. It feels closest to the real thing that I've ever felt um, on any kind of relic job. Yeah, it feels great. <laughs> yeah. Hey, do you mind going to get me some coffee? No. I'm going to right away. That's great. I'll just put that there. Is that cool? Yeah, thank you. Yep. So as I was saying, um, what's great about these is they feel absolutely amazing on the back of the neck. It feels like a 60s, 50s style guitar. It, it is the most um, appropriate relic that I've seen on any kind of finish before. Um, it doesn't feel over, like heavy handed or overwrought. Um, same thing with the top of the guitar, very light um, checking across the, the, the body of the guitar. Um, just a couple of just nice little scratches here and there, nothing too, too over, uh, overproduced or fake looking. And actually we thought what would be completely appropriate since we have it on hand is we have a 1958 Stratocaster that Andrew and I are going to be playing back and forth just to kind of show you what the subtle differences are, what the similarities are. Obviously these are completely different guitars. This is just to show that, you know, Fender did such a great job making these new guitars look like the, the real deal, feel like the real deal. Tell us some more about this. Uh, yeah, be happy to. Great. The, the great thing about these uh, Fender Custom Shop Journeyman Relics is that they have a lot of the old flavor from the actual vintage instruments, but then a lot of modern appointments like uh, a five-way selector switch as opposed to the three. Uh, like Shelby said, a great feeling 60s style C round neck. Uh, some great fat 60s single coil pickups that uh, are home canceling in two and four. Uh, something that you wouldn't normally find in, a, uh, in an actual vintage strap. Yeah. And what's nice about the uh, custom shop is that these are just two examples of what they can do. Um, two that we have in store, but they can do any color, any kind of relicking. Um, they're yeah. absolutely incredible what they do. So, yeah. Which would you say is your favorite? My favorite would definitely be this one. The Lake Classic Blue? Yeah. I mean, I'm more, a da more of a Daphne guy myself. That works out for both of us then. Mm -hmm. Certainly. I'm running through a Fender Vintage Modified 68 Custom Twin Reverb Amp going through an Ibanez TS9 Tube Screamer and a full tone Deja Vibe. And uh, I'm running through a 68 Vintage Modified Deluxe Reverb into a Tube Screamer, a Strymon El Capistan, and a Ditto X2 Looper. So we're gonna run the whole gamut of just clean straight into the amp tones, to overdriven tones, to really see what these strats can do. Let's dive Let's in and see, see how they sound. sounds like. Let's see how they sound. What it sounds like.
trying to catch up with Chadwick is easy? I'm gonna spit on you. I am, I'm gonna spit on you it while you're talking. It won't be the first time. 